You know what time it is? It's time. I don't have my watch on. Hashtag fail for a fountain pen shootout. And today we're going to have a look at three pens. The Yarder Lead, Viceroy Pocket, the Yarder Lead, Viceroy Standard, and the King, the Yarder Lead, Let, the Yarder Lead, Viceroy Grand. All three in the Victorian finish, all three in sterling silver, all three handwork. There are 3,000 individual hammer strikes in the pattern of this pen. Those hammer strikes are made by hand. This is not a machine finished pen. This is a pen finished by an artist who has been doing this for a long time. And because these, fin these pens are finished by hand, there are no two that are alike. They're all different. And that to me is a thing of beauty. Now, I should first of all thank Emma from Yardaled who very graciously, is that the word? I think so. Very gracious. I'm not a native speaker. Sorry. Sometimes I mess up, okay? Live with it. Who was very kind in sending me these two pens. The Yardaled Pocket at the bottom and the Yardaled, sorry, the Viceroy Pocket and the Viceroy Standard on top, okay? Now, I told her when I was, uh, when I contacted her, not only do I get a lot of requests to review these individual pens, but I also get a lot of requests to do a shootout to compare the three, because I know that a lot of people have asked me in the past, which one should I buy? What's the difference between the standard and the, and the grand? And I would always say, I'm not 100% sure because I don't own them, but now that I have them, I can show them to you side by side. So that is what I want to focus on today. I have done individual reviews. If you want to see all these pens in a lot of detail, look at the individual reviews. But today, the focus will very simply be on a side-by-side -side comparison of all three models in size and uh, you know, in, in, in weight, just so you get an idea of, of what you are really looking at and what you may want to purchase. So again, a massive thank you to Yard Lead. I really appreciate this. And now let's get started. Okay, so let's start with... I'm not going to write down yard lead because they're all yard leads, so I guess I wouldn't even have to write down uh, Viceroy, but anyway. Here's the pockets. The ink is Ackermann Delft's Blau, and uh, this is a broad nib. The Viceroy Pocket does not take any converters, at least I could not fit anything, maybe there is someone who has found something. Monteverde Mini Converter did not fit the something, you see, that's what you get when you talk and write. Over the something, lazy dog. Monteverde Mini Converter, Templar Mini Converter, I couldn't fit any of those things, so I have to refill cartridges with this, uh, this pen. However, I'll come back to that. Okay, it's running dry there, but that's just because I have exactly emptied this, this cartridge. I was on the verge of, should I refill it? And I did not, and that's what you get. So this is not the pen's fault. This is just actually the pen completely running out of ink. You see, this is how it performs usually. All right, then we have the Viceroy. Standard, also broad. Uh, same ink. Let's do a bit of fast writing. I'm not going for legibility here. Just for very fast writing. And as you can see, you, it maintains a pretty nice, uh, rich flow. And then finally, we have the king, although I guess it is a viceroy, but this one uh, may supplant the king one day. The viceroy grand, also in broad, same ink, 
right, to make this really comparable. So a bit of fast writing. There we go. So, three pens, three Yarder LEDs. What do you choose? Do you choose the Grand? Do you choose the Standard? Or do you choose the Pocket? Which one would you pick? Let me zoom in a little bit here. Adjust that a tiny bit, there we go. Which one would you pick and why? I know what I would pick. I would pick the Grand, and the reason for that is that I like a bigger pen, and for me this is a great size, right? This is a great size. And it's not just the length, because as you can see there isn't that much of a difference between the Standard and the Grand, and when you uncap the two pens, the difference I would say really is not that enormous. There is a size difference, but I mean it's not that huge but the difference in girth is remarkable. And for me, the standard, lovely a pen as it is, is a little bit on the narrow side. So is the pocket, but the pocket, of course, was meant to be posted and was meant to be a smaller pocket pen. And if you consider it from that perspective, for some reason I find the thinness, relative thinness in comparison to the larger Grand, a bit more palatable. I'm not saying it's not palatable here. The standard, of course, it's a slimmer pen, but that's why it's the standard. And I think to a lot of people, especially those of us with hands that are not that massive, a lot of people will really appreciate the standard size. It's just that I'm a guy who likes oversized pens, because again, my hands are not the smallest. So for me, that is just a very nice fit. And that is something that I really enjoy. So for me, that choice is easy. If you want girth, you'll have to get the Viceroy Grand. The pocket and standard have the same girth. They're both about a centimeter in diameter, so you won't find more or less uh, girth on either of these pens. So if you're trying to pick between these two, I would say you have two things to consider. One thing, it's not the price, because the price is exactly the same on both models. The real thing you have to consider is First, size. Do you want a pen that you can, say, put in a purse? Or do you want a pen that you can put in a breast pocket of a shirt? Because if you do, the pocket is a great pen. And given that you can post it so securely, look at this. The two pens are pretty much the same size. In fact, when posted, the pocket is a tiny bit longer than the standard is. So that's an interesting consideration. The second consideration, if it's not just size, to me, is how you ink the pen. Because the pocket only takes cartridges. I, again, I could not find any converter that fits this pen. And that means that if you want to use bottle ink, you can, but it's a little bit more elaborate because you'll need to get out a syringe, you need to refill a cartridge, you need to do that every time. The Viceroy Standard is supplied with a converter, sorry, switch over light, there we go, is supplied with a converter and that converter will make it very easy for you to use any type of bottle ink and if you want to, of course, you can use standard international cartridges, same as you would on the pocket. So I think those two things are an important consideration. Now, again, if it's not this you want, but you want a girthier pen, you will have to get the Grand. It will be heavier too. Uh, it's a massive pen, there's a lot of silver in that, so you will feel that weight, but you'll end up with something that's absolutely beautiful. And that's the end of it. I would like to give a very, very sincere thanks to Yardled for sending me these two pens. That is incredibly generous, and I really, really appreciate it. I hope that it was useful to you, as my viewers, to see these three pens side by side, I hope this has maybe made your decision-making process a little easier, and uh, that's all there's to it. I will gladly see you later. Bye-bye.